Hi, this is Christian, and welcome to NFL Updates Express, your weekly dose of NFL news. Coming your way, Week 7 Predictions. It's a great matchup at mile high between the San Francisco 49ers and the Denver Broncos. Now, we already know that Peyton Manning is just three touchdown passes away from breaking the all-time passing touchdowns record recently accomplished by Brett Favre and now Manning is trying to break that feat. The 49ers though are trying to spoil Manning's day as their defense will try to shut down Peyton Manning and this electrifying offense. Colin Kaepernick will need to run with his legs along with being an efficient passer passing to Anquan Bolden, Michael Crabtree, and Vernon Davis if the 49ers want to win this game. The Broncos defense with Aqib Tlaib and other big stars like DeMarcus Ware will be key to stopping Colin Kaepernick in this offense. But overall, I see the Denver Broncos winning this game. Dylan's prediction is the Denver Broncos. It's a great matchup at Ford Field between the 4-2 Detroit Lions and the 2-3 New Orleans Saints. Now the New Orleans Saints are having a tough season with Drew Brees not playing up to his usual standards and the defense losing Jarius Bird as well has propelled the New Orleans Saints at a 2-3 record. But it's okay because Drew Brees can start up at any time and even without Jimmy Graham most likely for this week. They still have Marcus Colston and Brandon Cooks who can also help this game along with Pierre Thomas at the running back position. The Detroit Lions on the other hand, well Calvin Johnson hasn't played the past few weeks but Golden Tate has stepped up big time for Matthew Stafford in this offense. And if Golden Tate can continue his production, I see the Detroit Lions beating the New Orleans Saints at Ford Field. Dylan's prediction is the Detroit Lions. It's a great Monday night football matchup between the Houston Texans and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now both teams are 3-3 and and for playoff positioning they'll need a win to stay alive in the playoff hunt. The Houston Texans narrowly lost to the Indianapolis Colts on Thursday night football last week and they'll be looking to get a win here against the Pittsburgh Steelers who have not lost at home on Monday Night Football. It will be a tough game for both teams as the Houston Texans have a very good defense and the Pittsburgh Steelers have an offense with a lot of great weapons like Le'Veon Bell and Antonio Brown. If Ben Roethlisberger can avoid being sacked and passed to Antonio Brown and Marcus Wheaton in the passing game, then I think that the Pittsburgh Steelers will escape with a win over Houston. Dylan's prediction is the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's a matchup between the Cleveland Browns and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, if you talked about this matchup last year, this would be the worst game of the week. But this year, the Cleveland Browns are no joke. They have looked very good this season and could compete for a playoff spot. The Jacksonville Jaguars, on the other hand, well, they haven't won a game yet. And even though Blake Bortles is playing okay, he still needs to work on his game before the Jaguars are in any sort of playoff picture. The Cleveland Browns have a chance to do something special this year, but they'll need to get past the winless Jags to stay alive. This could be a trap game for Cleveland, but Brian Hoyer is playing pretty well, even without wide receiver Josh Gordon, who should be back in a few weeks. If Jordan Cameron, the tight end, along with running backs Isaiah Crowell and Ben Tate can step up against Jacksonville, then I think that the Cleveland Browns will pick up a W. Dylan's prediction is the Jacksonville Jaguars.
Geno Smith and the New York Jets did all they could to beat the New England Patriots, but even their best effort wasn't enough, as the New England Patriots were able to escape with the victory over the Jets by the score of 25-27. to It looks like the Jets could steal a win against the New England Patriots on Thursday Night Football, but a blocked field goal by the Patriots gave the Patriots a big win over their division rivals. Shane Vereen caught two touchdown passes from Tom Brady, and the Patriots were able to escape with the win, 27-25. to Another week down, here's how it went. The Colts over the Texans, the Browns over the Steelers, the Patriots over the Bills, the Panthers and the Bengals tied, the Titans over the Jaguars, the Packers over the Dolphins, the Lions over the Vikings, the Broncos over the Jets, the Ravens over the Buccaneers, the Chargers over the Raiders, the Bears over the Falcons, the Cowboys over the Seahawks, the Cardinals over the Redskins, the Eagles over the Giants, and the 49ers over the Rams. The game of the week was Packers versus Dolphins, and the upset of the week was Steelers versus Browns. My prediction record for this week was 10-4-1, and, and Dylan's prediction record for this week was 11-3-1. My prediction record for the entire year is 49-39-1, and, and Dylan's prediction record for the entire year is 57-31-1. and one.